Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. Go do a video. Hope you find it a blessing. But the first order of business, as always, is are you saved by the blood of Jesus Christ? We're in the church age. The rapture hasn't happened. Then you have the ability to be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus died on a cross who was buried and rose from the dead. According to the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4, and God is not wanting any person to to perish in hell, and, and all it takes is one sin to send you there. So we need to turn from the world and to Jesus Christ at the cross and realize one sin is enough and that we're in need of a Savior. And Jesus Christ, God in flesh form, is that Savior. Romans 10, 9, and 10 tell us that we must confess with our mouth and believe with our heart in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross. And Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 let us know that it's not a works unless any man can boast. We're going to take a look... At fear, you know, a lot of people in the times that we live in, fear is pretty common. There's a lot of economic issues. There's a lot of struggle. There's war. There's famine. There is just spiritual attacks in the end times that we live. And it's important to realize that what the Lord says about fear in the, in the Bible. We'll start out at Psalms 23 and we'll look... Um, At verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy, they comfort me. So even though we're walking in this life and there might be death all around us and evil things all around us, we're, gonna fear, we're not going to fear it, says the Lord, because the Lord is with us. Amen. It's important to realize that in your life that you're not alone, that God loves you. Let's go to Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You know, how do we get delivered from it? People want to be delivered from, from fear. They want to, to be able to deal with life and, and the tribulations of this, of this time, which have no, nothing to do with the tribulation, but just your average everyday life is filled with problems. And if you fear, then um, the way to get away from those fears would be through the Lord. Do we seek the Lord? Do we read his word? Do we pray? And he will deliver us from the fears. Psalms 56, 3 and 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. If you're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, you're, you're a new creature. Your soul is eternal. It has the Holy Spirit. You, nothing can take you away from God. And nothing, not man, not any flesh, can harm you. God is with thee. Now, he can harm, even if they harm your body, even if they take away your, your fleshly shell, that you, to, you, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And Paul said it best. To die is to gain. And he was he, he admitted he was stuck between you know this world, serving the Lord, and the desire to go home. Do not fear, my friends. God is with us. Proverbs 19.23 The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall be abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. So if you have fear, make it the fear of the Lord. You know, fear him. Not man. And if we do fear men, what happens? Proverbs twenty nine twenty five: The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whosoever putteth his trust in the Lord shall be saved. Let's go to Romans eight fifteen. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, where whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Do you cry out to your father? Are you being kept by the bondages of fear? Or are we are we are we received the Holy Spirit of adoption? Romans eight, thirty eight and thirty nine. Thirty eight reads, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We see here in this verse nothing. There's no angels. 
not death, not life we live, not the powers of the evil principalities of this world, nor things present currently, nor even things in the future. Or anything above us or below us or any other creature out there is able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So Jesus Christ has has us in his hands. We're, if you're a member of the body of Christ, you're, you're one with him. He is the head. We are the body. And we're not to fear. For wonderful, beautiful things are to come. And Jesus Christ the Lord will be with you and walk with you. And if you're not saved, you know, now's the time to put away fear of this world. This world will will bring you down. And times are only going to wax worse. And one sin is enough to send anyone to eternal hellfire made for the fallen angels and Satan who want to destroy you. And the NWO is, and the United Nations is putting together a system of government ready for the Antichrist, which is the end times, who will come, who's evil, who will say he's the Messiah of the world, but rather he, he's the opposite. He'll, he'll bring destruction and death with him. The rapture's coming soon. It'll be a traumatic event. Millions will disappear. And you want to you go at that event because you'll be spared from the time of wrath that I mentioned, the Antichrist and, and the, times, the seven-year period of tribulation, which is in the book of Revelation, book of Daniel. Get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless and have a great day.